Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to learn about the brightness of bulbs. What are the factors that affect the brightness of the bulbs? Let's compare between these two circuits, circuit P and circuit Q. We can see that in circuit P, it has only one dry cell, while in circuit Q, it has two dry cells. So, what is the manipulative variable for this test? We can pause this video to think before you answer. So the answer is the numbers of dry cells, and the responding variable is the brightness of the bulbs. And the fixed variables are the numbers of bulbs, the size of bulbs, the type of dry cells, and the size of dry cells. So the aim or objective for this test is to investigate the relationship between the numbers of dry cells and the brightness of the bulbs. For observation, please compare which bulb is brighter. The answer is bulb in circuit Q is brighter than bulbs in circuit P. Because bulb in circuit Q has more dry cells than bulbs in circuit P? No, that is not the answer. The answer is because bulb in circuit Q receives more electricity than bulbs in circuit P. So the conclusion is, if the numbers of dry cells increases, the brightness of the bulbs increases. So please remember that the numbers of dry cells affect the brightness of the bulbs. Now let's see the second factor that affects the brightness of the bulbs. Let's compare between these two circuits, circuit X and circuit Y. We can see that in circuit X it has only one bulb, while in circuit Y it has two bulbs. So the manipulative variable for this test is the numbers of bulbs. And the responding variable is the brightness of the bulbs, while the fixed variables are the numbers of dry cells, the size of dry cells, the type of dry cells, and the size of bulbs. For observation, which bulb is brighter? The answer is bulb in circuit X is brighter than the bulbs in circuit Y, because bulb in circuit X receives more electricity than bulbs in circuit Y. So the aim or objective for this test is to investigate the relationship between the numbers of bulbs and the brightness of the bulbs. So we have to remember that the numbers of bulbs also affect the brightness of the bulbs. So these are the two factors that affect the brightness of the bulbs that we have learned today. The numbers of dry cells and the numbers of bulbs. That's all for now. Thank you everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.